Autobots, roll out! Hello and welcome to That's Just Prime, and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers movie Protoform Optimus Prime, and I love this toy. Released in 2007 as a deluxe class toy, this guy originally retailed for about $10. Here in Alt Mode, he's, he's, I remember the card saying that he was supposedly like a plane or a spaceship mode, but it really kind of looks more like a asteroid or a meteorite to me um but uh, here here in alt mode or vehicle mode he's approximately seven inches long and about two and a half inches tall right here at the top here and now um very different look for optimus prime here he's uh again this is from the movie line from the first movie that came out in 2007 and uh this mode here is supposed to emulate the asteroid or the meteorite or you know the entry mode that they had when they when they first appeared in the movie when they first came into earth and they hadn't taken on their vehicle modes yet and they you know when you first see them they look like asteroids coming into the atmosphere and then you later see them taking on their vehicle modes and that's what this is supposed to emulate and i think it's a pretty cool look you know it, it doesn't I like the idea that it doesn't necessarily have to be an asteroid, that it, it could be some kind of a little entry mode or spaceship mode or something like that for them, and then once they get to the planet, then they take on the vehicle modes, I, and, and, and I kind of like the idea. I think it's a pretty cool idea. Um, he's got some sort of kind of fake wheels molded in here, but they did mold some small wheels into the bottom, so he can roll, but he doesn't exactly roll very well. Um, if you... Yeah, see if the, the this, this part of the bottom of the wheel here, it still kind of rubs on the surface. So when you make him roll, he's he's not going to go very far. He doesn't roll very well, but it's 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 nice that they put those in there. And uh, he definitely doesn't want to roll back because if you do that, that's what's going to happen. So you know, I don't think he's really meant to roll all that well like a vehicle would. But uh, it's nice that they put the wheels in there, so at least you can move them around on your surface and and you're not causing too much damage. So that's nice that they did that. As far as detail goes, um, since we don't really know what exactly this is supposed to be, we <laughs> don't really know how accurate or not accurate it is. But I think it's a very cool little entry mode that they give them here. Whatever you want to call this, whether it's a meteorite or a spaceship, I think it's a really, it's, it's you know, we'll call it like a, a transport mode. That's their transport or entry mode. And I really like the concept of it. Um, there were only two figures for this line that were made in this entry mode. There was an Optimus Prime and there was a Starscream. Um, I remember seeing the Starscream in, in the stores. I never bought it. And I've never played with it. I have no idea what that what that figure looks like or, or how good or not good it is. I really don't know. But Optimus Prime here, I really enjoy this Optimus Prime. And I like the, the little detail that they did on the back here where you know it's it's the entry mode he's burning through the as atmosphere and he's creating like a little bit of a a fire tail here i really like that detail there now this is rubber and it is removable because this can be um uh plugged into the weapon later so just to show you what that is what that's like you know it's just a little rubber piece and, and it attaches to his back part here and i really like the way that they molded it to actually create the detail that it's coming around not only the top but it's on, on also coming around these uh toes here i really like the the scope that they did on that i enjoy it so let's uh let's get into the transformation and transformation is relatively simple for this guy go ahead and um these these this front panel here on the sides these are pegged into these panels here so just get your your finger in there and pop those out as best you can there you go there's one you gotta really you gotta kind of really kind of mess with it because there's nowhere to really get your finger in there so you kind of just gotta you know mess with it until you can get it out there just like that and just open those up you see where that tab was plugged in right there but again you know when that's popped in there there's there really isn't anywhere to get in there real good to get that out so you kind of just gotta mess with it until you can get it out so there's that um, this bottom part here these are going to be the legs so go ahead and rotate these down and then these panels where the where these front panels were plugged in these hip panels here these are actually going to come down these are on the double hinge here and here so you can actually bring those down there and there the legs are joined together at the feet and at the back of the shins here so you can go ahead and split those apart and then the feet are going to straighten out and rotate what is it it's the feet that rotate to the front there you go so it is so the wheels are still going to stay facing outwards and these pegs are going to remain facing inwards so there you go and there's pretty much the legs pretty much done at this point 
Uh, this, uh, let me see, we're going to have to move the camera up because we're getting a little tall. So, at the top here, these side panels are going to be the arms, so you can go ahead and pop these open. Go ahead and uh, rotate the figure. Let's see, is, is now a good time to do it? I think that's a good time as any. The, uh, the figure is going to rotate. If you, if you look at the front of the, what was the vehicle mode, um, right here between this grill and the windows, from that point up, the whole thing is going to rotate all the way around just like that. Come around to the other side, and you can see these are going to be the shoulders. So go ahead and bring these up, and you can bring those out to the side. And these are going to kind of emulate those um, those steps that Optimus has on the shoulders. That's kind of what those are emulating right there. And then the arms can go ahead and come down and straighten those out. There you go. Back part here, if you go under this back part piece here, there's going to be the rifle. It attaches. I like how, again, they integrated the weapon into the vehicle mode, and it's not obtrusive. It doesn't show anywhere. I really like that. I like it when they do that. And you can see that there's a, there's a, it, the weapon kind of forms a tab there, and there is a slot right there. So the weapon was just slotted in uh, right here. It, it just it's just slotted in right there it's not super tight you know if you mess it or mess around with it or wiggle it or whatever it, it's gonna fall but um it holds it tight enough when it's in vehicle mode between that and the arms folding it around it that it doesn't go anywhere and it stays in there pretty secure when it's in vehicle mode and then it's pretty easy to remove once you get to the robot mode you can just pull out pull that out it's real easy so we'll get to the weapon later this whole panel here this is going to come down uh let's see before we do that, actually, let's go back. Come on, get back to where you are. Okay, so this whole top of the... We're looking at the whole top of the vehicle here. This top panel here above the windows, this is going to fold all the way back, just like that. And you can see that the head is hiding right in there. And you can get to the head pretty easy back here. You see this little black panel here. You can actually pull this down, and that'll... There we go. Let's see. Make sure that's on camera there. Okay. And that will actually make it to where you can reach in here and actually push the head up. It makes it a lot easier to get to the head that way. So you can bring the head up. Once you've done that, go ahead and take this back panel and push that all the way up. Just like that. And then once you got this panel all the way up, this piece will come all the way down. And just kind of stay out of the way there. Come around to the front. Turn the head around. And there is our movie Optimus Prime in his proto form. And I really like the way this guy looks. And again, this is Optimus Prime before he took on his alt mode. So he still doesn't, you know, he hasn't scanned a truck. He doesn't transform into a truck. And so he know, he doesn't look like he's got truck parts around him. Um, I really like it. It's, it's you know, for that one half of a second that we got to see him in the movie in his protoform mode. And, of course, we didn't get to see a whole lot of detail of it. And we didn't really get to see what he really looked like in protoform mode. But from what you got to see, this, this looks pretty cool. I really like the way that this looks. Here in robot mode, he's approximately six inches tall. As far as articulation goes, the head... Um, can look down a little bit because of the transformation. It's not on a ball joint, but you remember it was on that panel, so you can kind of pull that panel forward and make him kind of look down a little bit, so that works. Uh, but the head will go all the way around. Uh, shoulders go all the way around. Um, however, you're going to be hindered. You, you See, you can, you can rotate all the way around, but you are going to be hindered by this panel here, and there's nothing you can really do about this panel. It's kind of a shame. It's kind of one of those... Um, you know, they're kind of... Not really in the way when you look at the robot mode. They just kind of sit back there behind them, and I don't think they're that obtrusive. But they do kind of get in the way of articulation a little bit. So you know, they they typically don't bother me all that much, but they can get in the way of the articulation. But as you saw, the shoulder does have the ability to go all the way around, and the arm can go in and out at the shoulder as well. You've got a 90 at the elbow, and you have a little bit of rotation at the wrist, though that is going to be hindered by this panel as well so you know he's got really good articulation in a lot of parts but some of the paneling tends tends to be a hindrance for that uh as you saw earlier because of the transformation he does have rotation at the waist he's also got rotation actually because of the transformation he's got rotation up here at the chest that's the one that's for transformation he's got a rotation at the waist but that has nothing to do with the transformation however he does have an um a little bit of a crunch at the waist, that is due to transformation. So that's nice that they they also added the the rotation in there. Uh, you got a ball jointed hip, so you can go all over the place with this guy, forward, backward, in and out. You know, you can do some 
uh, gymnast poses with that, whatever you want. You can just go crazy with that. <laughs> you got a 90 at the knee, and then you got a ball jointed uh, foot as well. So you can go all over the place with the foot too. So he's got really, really good possibility. And I really enjoy the way this guy looks. Check out the, um, the head scope here real quick. Let's see if we can get uh, some focus on that. And I really like that head sculpt for Optimus Prime. It's it's a very Optimus Prime looking head, but at the same time, it's kind of a very alien looking head. So, you know, it really evokes, uh, once again, that Optimus Prime has not yet taken on that truck mode. And so he doesn't exactly look the way that we all know him, but that doesn't mean that you don't recognize him as Optimus Prime. And I really, really love that about this guy. Uh, bringing in the weapon, this is the way that the weapon looked like in, in his uh, quote-unquote vehicle mode. And it was plugged in uh, from this tab here. The weapon does do a little bit of transformation. If you look on the top here, there's a little panel. So go ahead and flip this panel all the way out. Then at the bottom here, where the uh, tab was at, you can rotate this all the way out. And there is Optimus Prime's rifle. And if you want... You can take this little flame piece that he had in alt mode, and you can see he's got a couple of tabs, and there's a couple of slots on the barrel of the weapon here. So you can go ahead and slot that right in there, and now you've got yourself a little firing gimmick, or, you know, firing looking piece for the weapon. I think it's pretty cool. It, it, it looks all right. Um, sometimes I display it with it. Sometimes I display it without it. It just kind of depends on the mood that I'm in. Uh, but I think it's pretty cool that it, it's got that, that look, that, uh, kind of like a firing emulation there. It kind of looks like he's firing out of his weapon. And I think it's pretty cool that they put that in there. And and I, and I really like the fact that they made it optional. You know, if you don't feel like having that in there, you can take it out. And, you know, but if you like the way it looks, you can leave it in. I really, really like that. And, and I really enjoy this toy a lot. It's, it's, uh, I didn't get this guy when it first came out. And then I, I was kind of, uh, I had remorse over not getting it. And then I had to go and hunt it down after the fact. So I'm really glad that I was able to find this guy and add him to my collection. Um, uh, in, as far as uh, changing anything on this toy, I didn't really ask if, if I would change anything for vehicle or for robot mode because, again, both the vehicle and the, and the robot mode are not something that we have a whole lot of uh, visual reference for. So there's no way of telling, is it accurate, is it not accurate, or whatever. So I, I really wouldn't change anything on this toy. I really like the way it looks. Um, these panels on the back, they can be a little bit of a hindrance, but there's not really a whole lot. I don't see engineering-wise where they could have done anything with that or put that, put that anywhere else. And if those panels are not there, that vehicle mode would be broken up a whole lot. So... You know, again, they don't really bother me. Usually, on the back of, on the on the back of the robot, there, you don't notice them all that much. They can be a little bit of a hindrance for possibility, but that's it. And and they don't really bother me that much. So I really really enjoy the 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 figure and the toy as a whole, the way it is. And one quick thing I forgot to mention, actually, if you like what you see here, if you're seeing this figure and you're liking it, and you're thinking, man, it's been so many years since it came out and it's going to be very difficult to hunt one of these down. Um, this figure is getting a reissue, re-release, a repaint for the new Transformers 4 Age of Extinction movie that's uh, getting ready to come out here in a week or two. So, yeah, this I actually, I've seen this figure uh, as repainted in G1 color. So they're actually going to take the robot mode here. And he's going to have, like, the blue legs and the silver thighs and the red torso and uh, I'm just kind of going off of memory from, from, from when I saw him a while back. So, and then, you know, the, the vehicle or, or the, the, the entry mode is going to be some combination of, of, of red and blue. So, you know, at least you'll be able to get, I may, I'm, and I might pick it up as well. Um, I personally, I prefer this, this color scheme because this is the way that we saw him in the original movie, but I think that a G1 repaint of this figure would be fun. So if I see one, I'm going to pick one up as well. And, uh, maybe I'll show a quick video, just a, uh, just a little comparison or whatnot. But you know, the, the, the point is that if you're liking this figure and you're wanting to hunt one down, there is a version of this figure of this mold that's coming back out for the age of extinction movie. So you got a chance to get this figure if you're liking what you see. So, I think that about covers Transformers movie Protoform Optimus Prime. Please leave me some comments, give me some thumbs up, subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.